Okay, so here we are, the last moto vlog for this uh, 2024 edition of Shibalba freediving competition. I am uh, very happy. So today I announced 92 meter, which uh, is a freshwater PB, definitely, but also the bottom of the of the cenote where we dive for the competition i mean it's not exactly the bottom but it's the limited depth to announce to stay safe to make sure you don't touch anything down there so it's kind of a milestone for me because it's uh, it's one of the deepest cenote of the peninsula and i dived it to to depth that's amazing so like you can see in the video pretty good dive overall Thanks again to Keiichi for filming. Um, I was, <clears throat> interestingly, much more relaxed this morning than yesterday. I think uh, yesterday was the, the tough one because it was the first time since quite a bit where I was getting to, to dive again in the 90s. And uh, I know for a fact that in the past this is where I started to lose it. So I was a little bit worried with, with the, the fresh water and the fact that I didn't train seriously before, etc. But uh, the dive was super strong yesterday, so this morning I was like, come on, it's the same dive. And I was actually excited to, to get there. I was like, oh, it goes well or not, I don't care, I'm, go I'm going because it is so cool to, to reach the maximum depth of that comp. Uh, it's something I always wanted to. Um, my first edition of Shibalba was, I think it was the first one. It was like maybe seven years ago, six or seven years ago, something like this. So it's kind of uh, sentimental as well. <laughs> um, what else? Yeah, the dive. Um, a good uh, good mental control heart rate not too bad for the start i was like pretty relaxed um i was focused on what i would do i um i used a lot the technique of visualization during my dive of uh, not visualization of the dive but more like mindfulness in the moment with a visu visualization of uh, again of my son kylo that uh, really, I don't know, gives me like uh, a very positive feeling to attach to. And, um, and that helps a lot. A lot of part of the dive, eyes closed as well. It seems working really well for me. Um, yeah, then uh, the way down was fairly easy. I don't think I even had contraction and uh, equalization, uh, no problem at all and uh, grab the tag, start the way up, and on the way up, I was like, I'm gonna make it. Um, my alarm of the 40 meter came, but not like super late. I was like, okay, it should be pretty much now. And then did it, it, I got it. So like, I'm, I'm on track. My dive time makes sense. My sensation as well. I feel a bit of urge to breathe, but it's not like crazy. And then, uh, of course, the, the urge to breathe intensify over the last 40 meters for me. Um, especially the last 40 to 20 or 40 to 10. And after that, it gets better when your lungs expand, basically. Um, but uh, I knew exactly where I was. Um, Breach the surface, grab high no hypoxia at all which is amazing i'm really really happy for that this is so interesting and um and yeah strong protocol i think this 92 was my best i ever did because when i remember three years ago in um, in vertical blue i was doing the same thing i was doing <coughs> monofin only and then um, i was building up depth to try to get 100 meter and past 90 was fine but 92 started to be like less clean but still okay 94 starting to to shake 
and then 96 I blacked out so I still had this dive in my head um, and that was in, in salt water which is supposed to be uh, easier for me I still had this in my head that I had to shake off and to be like this is different time you are not a person right now you have more experience you're stronger also physically so so yeah now it works out really well I'm uh, I'm super happy uh, it was quite emotional to make that dive today um, yeah and it was uh, it was pretty cool to, to share with you guys like uh, this little journey um, I am uh, satisfied I kind of wish there was like more depth in the cenote and then a couple more days to see where it can go because I I can definitely dive deeper than that and uh, I would be curious if I would be able to make it 200 meter in, uh, in that specific place but that will be for another time in another place um, in the next competition I think after the summer but I'm, uh, I'm not sure exactly what will be the plan uh, in any way it's been, uh, it's been really cool I, um, I thought that it was a good experiment it went way farther than I thought and uh, now I am ready to go back home I have to say that uh, at this stage I got enough uh, Bamboo Express Pok Chuk <laughs> Gatorade <laughs> like my, uh, my little routine of every day um, I'm happy to go back home and I will stop the bulk I will start uh, a diet and cut a little bit because I'm getting quite fat right now which is again I think it, it's one of the things that made me succeed this year it's my body fa fat percentage that kept me stronger, healthier and more buoyant and it really did make a big difference I think it's a combination of gym training since a while with higher body fat for fresh water uh, plus uh, I guess I'm getting more mature so in my dive um, I still have my little anxiety and problems but much less than before and I like now to simplify everything to a really minimalist approach for diving where you just do the dive and, and here you go try to not overthink no yeah no no big routine to follow which I was doing before if you're younger in freediving I don't think it's a bad thing and it's good to stretch it's good to warm up etc but at some stage when you're there you're there yeah so so yeah thanks again for following the journey tonight is gonna be the uh, the, the closing ceremony I'm really happy I'm gonna have a beer it's gonna be nice and uh, I'm gonna be on the podium for constant wait but because we are three people Lemus uh, Roberto and me that have done 92 with constant wait I don't know how it's gonna be like if it's gonna be the three of us first place and share the podium or if they're gonna put us in first second and third based on the announced dive time like uh, some people were saying that maybe it's gonna be the case like basically the closer you get in your real dive to your announced dive time the the higher rank you will be so I still have a chance to make it first because I was pretty good on my time but I don't know how the judge are gonna calculate it um, anyway we're gonna see tonight I'm gonna post it in stories to to share a bit like uh, how it's going and uh, and yeah once again thanks a lot it's been a pleasure and see you for this kind of vlogging for the next competition cheers oh wow that's intense okay let's uh, hold our breath wow. <laughs> it's like driving on Mustafa <laughs> Ah, you can feel the heat <laughs> all right that was uh, interesting uh, fire so
so they are definitely burning on purpose the side um, I guess to to avoid like really huge fire and to to fertilize the the the, the, the soil I guess I'm just wondering how they do that it doesn't uh, go further than just the side of the, the road but uh, yeah interesting. 